Alright, hey YouTube, today I am doing a review on the My Adidas Ultra Boost, and these are probably my favorite shoes right now besides my Yeezys, because you know, you gotta love your Yeezys, and no, I'm not a hype beast, maybe a little, everybody's got some hype beast in them, but I just love my Yeezys. But these are my favorite pair of Ultra Boost right now, and I honestly prefer Ultra Boost over NMDs, I think they're way more comfortable, and I think the Silhouette's just way better. But I was actually really lucky to be able to get these because I got them through Adidas. Uh, uh, well, obviously I got them through Adidas, but uh, Adidas sent out these Q, uh, not QR codes, but activation codes that you had to enter whenever you were going to customize this pair. Well, this uh, Ultra Boost. And only a limited number of people were able to get the code, uh, except for the first time it went around. They, I think they've done two or three drops of these, maybe? I'm not sure. I know they've done two for sure, but I know the first pair, not the first pair, but the first drop, they were hyped up so much. Like, they were crazy, crazy reso, I think. I think, could be wrong, but um, I absolutely love this shoe, and what was really cool about it was uh, whenever they shipped them to me, it, can't, it, didn't, it doesn't come in like a regular Ultra Boost box. It comes in a, like... Adidas Performance box. I mean, it's the same exact box as my crazy explosives right here. I'm doing a review on these soon. Probably should be up tomorrow. Maybe the day after that. Uh, it's coming soon, though. I promise. But they also sent me a uh, drawstring bag, which is really dope. It's pretty cool. Just a nice little drawstring bag. I'll probably use this for gym sometimes because I'm a senior in high school. Uh, and I also came with another pair of... Uh, White laces, which I really need for my uh, triple white ultra boost because they're kind of getting destroyed from where I've like relaced them so much. And I've already went ahead and relaced these like I have in my tutorial video. And I think it looks really good like this as well. But yeah, guys, let's just go ahead and get right to this review. All right, to start out, you can obviously see what pops out the most, which is the rainbow uh, multicolor prime knit. And it starts about the first cage, and there's so many colors in here. Like, there's orange blue green yellow purple there's so many colors in there i can't name them all i'm probably can't even see them all but these are size nine and a half which is um my size they run true to size like most ultra boosts do is that 3.0 some 3.0s run big i think <laughs> but uh, on these there wasn't really much you could customize uh like the first time they uh, the first drop they did i'm pretty sure that on the first drop that they did in europe and in new york like in store at New York, you were able to do uh, the navy upper, but for my go around, I can only do a white or black upper, and I went with white because I think personally, for myself, white is a better sh uh, color for a shoe. That's my opinion. Don't hate me for that. Um, but I personally like white shoes better. But uh, there wasn't really much you could do. You could customize the upper, the outsole. I was with the black uh, outsole, and it's a continental uh, outsole, which is great because on one point it was the uh, sole wasn't uh, made by Continental so they kind of like degraded really fast but on all your 2.0s and 3.0s now uh, it's a Continental sole and I went with the black one you could also customize the uh, uh, tongue label right here and I went with a uh, black 3M which is reflective for in case you didn't know that and you could also customize the laces or change the color of the laces but I just went with white because it really makes the shoe look way more cleaner, except this pops out. It makes this pop out way much more, too. And I don't think you could uh, change the color of the cage. I could be wrong, but I don't think you could because I don't remember being able to do it. But this shoe is really amazing. I love it to death. I wore it today to school, and I'm glad I got a black sole because you can't really see dirt that much on it, which I'm grateful for because my triple white Ultra Boost that are back there, you can probably tell that they're pretty dirty, which I need to clean them really bad. But yeah, um, this shoe is a 2.0 upper, which most people don't think they are because it's a solid color. And most 2.0s have a gradient like the triple whites right there. They are a, a white and gray gradient up here. And like, no 2.0 has a solid color. But if Adidas was smart, they would have dropped some 2.0s that had solid colors like this. And they would have sold like crazy. Like, the hype for those would have been unreal. I mean, these are pretty hype themselves, to be honest. But the only really thing different between this one and the first, like, drop of my Adidas Ultra Boost was that uh, these don't have numbers right here. 
in Boost God or Owen Teddy's video, uh, his three pairs that he got that he uh, customized, they have like a number out of a certain number. Like he's one that's 700 something and 800 something. I don't remember the numbers exactly. Like I don't keep up with that. But his are pretty rare. Um, and pretty much everybody copied his colorway that he made. I guess just to hop on the hype train for that. But I wanted mine to be like what I wanted for myself. I mean, don't get me wrong. His were really nice and stuff. But I love mine more. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about the shoe. I love it to death. And if I was able to get another one, I would do a black upper. Because you got I mean, there's no point in getting another white one if you already got it. But I would definitely get a black upper. And if I got the chance, I'd probably get the navy one first because I think it might look better. And it would kind of look like the 1.0 Chinese New Year's, which I wish I could get. But those shot up because they're pretty much a grail shoe now. But yeah, I will include some on-feet looks of these. Uh, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed.